I'm going to show you how to make a stem and leaf plot using Excel. Now there's bad news and good news. The bad news is if you go to insert and then try and choose a graph called stem and leaf plot, there is no such thing as a stem and leaf plot here in Excel. So you can't actually make one automatically. But what I can do with this data is I can use Excel to organize it into a stem and leaf plot manually and it makes it look neat and good and great for printing out or putting into an assignment or whatever. So first thing I need to do is to put this data in order. So I can do that simply by highlighting a column, going to data, and then sorting it from A to Z. It puts it in alphabetical order. Uh, I'm not going to expand the selection. Just continue with the current selection. Otherwise it would have ordered all these um, based on those. And then I'm going to do the same with this lot. Okay, now they're in order. What I need to do is make my stems. So I can see that the um, I'm going to be going up uh, the stems are going to be have a value of 10 and I'm going to go start from 40s and I'm going to go right up to the 110s or the 110s. So I'll go over here somewhere and I'll start my stems and I um, can really start it pretty much anywhere. I just need to leave some space. So I'm going to start with the 40s by typing in 4 and then 5 for 50s and so on. Okay, done. Those are my stems. Now I'm going to put uh, because I've got the males on the left there and the females on the right there, I'll put the males on the left here. There are no males in the 40s, so the first male is 56 kilograms. So I'll put a 6 in that square there, and then no more there, then it's the 60s. So I'll put a 5 there, 65. Then move across to the left and put a 7, 67, 8 for 68, and 9 for 69. And I'll continue on doing that on this side. Okay, that's the male data finished. You can see there was nothing there in the 100 to 109 range, so there's nothing there on that in that side there. Now I go over the other side of my stem here, and I do the same for the females, and they start at 49. Okay, and the last girl was 92, the last female so we don't use the hundreds and the hundred and tens here. Okay, it doesn't look much like a stem and leaf plot yet, and the thing that's going to make it look more like a stem and leaf plot is first, if I can um, make the stem stand out, so if I go to home, um, I'm going to put a border on this, so I click here in the border section and put on a left border, and then if I put on a right border, that makes the this makes this stand out a little bit. It's very spread out. Um, I need to bring this all in, now the quick thing you can do in Excel is just move to the top of the columns. Between the columns, when you've got your mouse between the columns and it's got this double arrow um, there, just double click. And if you double click like that on each of those um, boundaries between the two columns at the top, it shrinks the cell size to be just as wide as your biggest, or sorry, just as wide as your smallest piece of data in there. So since all of these things are one digit wide, um, the stem and leaf plot is going to be one digit wide. So here you can see this looks now just like a stem and leaf plot. I would probably just highlight the stems again and see how they're all kind of sitting on the right hand side here but then when you get to the double digits they're kind of in the middle. I just center it. Uh, that would look a bit better. I could also make that bold as well to make it stand out better. And then, then all that's left to do is to label each side. All that's left to do now is just to put a little legend in. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pretend, make it look like that's a part of the stem. I'm putting a border around it and put a, a digit in it. Just pick one at random. I'm going to pick eight. So my stem is for eight. I'll make that bold as well to match up. And then if I put next to that a three, oh, that didn't go bold. Make it bold. Uh, now, to make this equal to something, I have to just type um, space equals 83. So there you have it. There's our stem and leaf plot. Now if you're putting that into say a Word document, just you know, highlight it all, right click, copy, open up Word, and paste. And there you have it. Hope that's been helpful.